What's next? Well, we have a number of development initiatives driven in large part by you, but also some, like I said before, game changers. Uh, certainly 64-bit desktop is in our future. You saw that beginning with the runtime pattern, uh, building 64-bit uh, there. GPUs, other things that you've asked for. But I'd like to engage you during the week because we have over a thousand of our development people here. They're going to talk with you and interact with you. You can hammer on them. But I'll tell you something else. Last year, we introduced something called the Ideas Portal, uh, which was a way that you can put in suggestions and then vote on them. And this definitely had a huge impact on what we did on 10.1. I'd like to invite you to continue doing that and working with us in that regard. Beyond core technology, we also have at ESRI a number of solution initiatives. The biggest one that I'll call your attention to is in local government, where we're building maps and data models and workflows. Actually, that's the foundation of all of these initiatives that help you do your job better. The local government one you'll see from Clint Browner later today, um, and it's, it's, it's freely available on the web. But we also have ones at defense and production mapping and, and geodemographics. And a couple of them are actually SaaS applications. Community Analyst makes available over 6,000 variables online with a nice little workflow. So people that don't have software, they don't have skills, they don't want to do GIS, they just want to use it. This is also another pattern. It's a pattern that we're promoting for our broader communities but also it's a pattern that you can copy those of you who are interested in this and, and drive it yourself. ESRI is, as you know, beyond simply software. We support you in technical support, and this is getting better and more globalized. More education work. We're putting more on the web with free courses or inexpensive courses, and we're also changing the courses so they're more experiential-based rather than Rather than lecture lab, they're learned by doing, and that's uh, going to be powerful in its own right. Our professional services organization supports hundreds of engagements helping you, and I appreciate the opportunity to do that. We also have a press that uh, many of you have taken advantage of with over 100 fine textbooks. Some of these are by you, and some of them are by our own people. This year, we have about a dozen books, and two that I'll call your attention to are Understanding GIS, uh, and that's, that's a really fine piece of work. It should be something that all of you professionals get. The other one is Roger Tomlinson over the last year has been working on a new edition. It's released at this conference. It modernizes with all the new technology what's going on, and his famous book about thinking about GIS before doing something has guided me and I know many of, your, many of you. And he's here today. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge you, Roger, once again for for uh, all the great things that you've done. This last year, we introduced something called certification. This is not professional certification. It's meant to be a benchmark for you in professional skills. And I acknowledge the people that worked on this. It's a... Uh, it's, it's, good. it's meant to dis distinguish you and those of you who are employers better raise the standard about who really knows what in our tools. ESRI is successful in part because of its partner program, and we have several thousand partners both on the technology side, people like Microsoft and IBM and SAS and, and Oracle, who've helped us make our software better. And the engagements that we have there are, are very powerful. And then we have thousands of these partners who actually extend our platform and provide, well, they help you be more successful in domain areas and particular skill areas. And I want to acknowledge them because they truly have made us as a community much more successful. ESRI is philosophically <laughs> committed to supporting you. That's exactly what, where our mind is all the time. We, of course, are intrigued by this notion of understanding the world. It drives us, and we think we want to make the world a better place. Our goals are fundamentally advancing GIS and geographic sciences and promoting spatial thinking in partnership with you. Our status is we're strong, we're growing. 
Uh, we have a conservative outlook on how we run our organization. And we have many strong relationships that help us make a difference in the world. And I always like to talk about our organization because it, it's, a work, it's, a, it's an organization that actually works. So I'm proud of that. And especially I'm proud of the fact that our relationship works. And if we are not doing what you want, I want to know about it. This is important to me as well. Our relationships are distinguished on a lot of fronts. One of them is this list of organizations and actually a thousand more beyond them that help us make our organization successful. They allow us to extend our tools through uh, gifts and, and collaborations uh, into the world. Jane Goodall uh, Organization and Nature Conservancy and government agencies like NGA and USGS have helped us spread and connect our tools to, to the people who need them. Last fall, we introduced a nonprofit organization program. This is sort of like the personal GIS program where we give all of our software without cost to NGO organizations, and there are thousands of them. Uh, they, they help others using our tools, and it's a distinct honor for us to do it. GIS, particularly in conservation, has been a leader in this regard, and one of those organizations, the Society for Conservation GIS, is one that I'm particularly proud of being related with. These are hundreds of people who volunteer time and go out in the mission of conservation around the world and work with NGOs to, I would say, to do God's work. N another initiative that we are are working on heavily is education, both at the higher ed, and here our partner is the American Association of Geographers, and in the K through 12, the National Geographic Society. They have initiated a strong geo-mentoring program for our users to adopt a school and adopt a classroom to uh, provide GIS training within these organizations. And so again, I want to thank especially the National Geographic Society for being so strong. Those two organizations are also our partner in something we call GIS Day, which is next November. It's a chance for many of you to have an open house and invite in people to have a look at what you actually do. Well, it's the end of the morning, or the first part of the morning. I want to cover a couple of final points. First, your work already supports thousands of important activities. The slides that I showed you are evidence of that. And in, in a contextual way, I believe these are extending the human mind. Organizations, the people that you're belonging to, the organizations that you belong to, are increasingly valuing GIS and what it does for them. And at the same time, they want to see everything on a map. It's kind of like we open Pandora's box. And they say, well, I want to see it that way, which gives me the sense that this is a new language that we're working with. These emerging tools that Bernie and Jeremy showed are a kind of pattern, a technical pattern that will really enable us to deliver on that, in that regard. They'll make your work easily accessible, discoverable, and empower you to deliver this across your organizations. This platform, I'm convinced, is going to open things up. It's going to improve understanding of our planet, the theme of this conference, and provide access across your organizations, but also, as you can see, up beyond your organizations. I truly hope that this will stimulate your mind to think about collective knowledge and what that means for our world. I think you will be the ones that make this happen. Carl Sagan said, our species needs understanding of the, how the world works. A very powerful statement, very simple, very concise. I think you're the ones to do it. 